Claire Denis, one of the most vibrant filmmakers working today, is known for her attention to small, concrete details of everyday life that most other directors would see as trifling. While her films deal with big themes, they always engage with them on a small scale. So for a lot of people, it came as a surprise then that Denis decided to go to space with Twilight alumni Robert Pattinson. Yet for those who've been paying attention to her words over the years, it's clear that high life isn't a giant step outside of her comfort zone, but a small leap in her filmography. I would love in a second life to be a, a sort of James Cameron, you know? For me, there is no difference between a James Cameron and a Claire Denis, you know? They want to make film. In High Life, the French director maintains her connection to earthly things, the way camera transmits haptic feelings and stimulates the senses. Denis has crafted one of the most impressionistic filmographies in cinema. She treats bodies as landscapes, rendering wrinkles and folds as topographies. She traces the pockmarks on Vincent Linden's face or the blemishes on Michel Subor's aged skin across multiple collaborations. But before the skin, there's clothing. When characters stare and lust for their objects of desire, we're privy to POV shots of shirt fabric rippling over flesh. In Bastards, we see Raphael's fixating on Marco's shoulder blades, flexing as he fixes her child's bike. The use of food metaphors to discuss cinematic pleasures in films directed by women is a common but tragic affection within film criticism. A dynamic performance is spicy, a tender sex scene sweet like honey, a comedic moment functions like a great palate cleanser. The films of Claire Denis resist such reductive language, not because taste isn't a key element in her oeuvre, but rather because it is central to it. The taste of coffee and cigarettes seems to emanate from Vincent Linden's Every Poor in 2002's Friday Night. These gross but perversely sexy vapors are essential to his character, Jean, the man with whom Laure has a passionate fling the night before she is to move in with her fiancé. Claire Denis films sound like Stuart Staples and Tinder Sticks. Yearning, haunting, ambiguous strains are just part of the universe she has created. Their collaboration started when Denis pursued Stuart to ask for permission to use one track, Tiny Tears, in 1996, Nanette and Bonnie. For a week now. Fast forward 23 years and Staple has composed music for eight of Denise's films. Five Shots of Rum is a film you can practically smell. Sure enough, the first line Lionel's daughter Jo says to him is... The film pushes the viewer into a gentle, sensory, olfactory experience. The scent of onions cooking on the frying pan almost seems to penetrate the screen and waft up your nostrils.
Au Travail from 1999 is about characters gazing at one another, but also the immense power that comes from averting one's gaze. On the arid flats of Djibouti, a battalion of French foreign legionnaires stare longingly at one another as they go about maneuvers in the blistering sun. In the background, impoverished locals look upon these soldiers with a measure of ambivalence. Their presence is intended as a diplomatic olive branch, but they are unable to comprehend the disruptions wrought by previous generations. They have become narcissistically obsessed with vicarious desire. They cannot see their country, and so have forgotten it. <laughs> 